My name is Alexis Kerr, and I'm recording this for the water drummers. This is your basic water drumming tutorial. Um, and on camera here we have Philip J. Kendall, the world-renowned expert in Baka African uh, water drumming. So, Philip, you go through which ones I'm meant to do. Uh, so, so uh, hi-hat type 1, hi level 1. Type, there's three types of hi-hat, starting with... Um, Actually, there's two, there's two types of hi-hat. The first type of hi-hat has three levels of loudness. So, hi-hat type one, uh, and in fact, all of type ones, you use one hand moving in the water. Um, type one is very quiet, and you move it in the water, and your fingertips are just touching the water as they move through. So you almost, you can probably move in a bit closer to show this one. <laughs> So that you almost miss the water sometimes. So here's here it is. Hi hat um, type one, level one. So you can see that I'm moving the hand like that, but it's just touching the water. You probably need two people doing that at the same time to be able to hear it. We will be mic'd up with three microphones, so don't worry. Okay, and then the level two of type one is a, the, the one-handed is a bit deeper. So you can see that. And then we have level three. I'll just move back from my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> level three is basically you, you, you go down to your knuckle, really. So you can see. Okay, and you probably, if you're left handed, you'll want to use your left hand. Right hand's one, use your right hand. Okay, hi hat type two. Um, <clears throat> actually involves using the f almost the flats of your hands. It's in fact it's the front half of your hands. You can move a bit closer now because I'll stop. So it's the front half of, of your hands here. And um, basically, if you're just doing a slow hi hat, so that's um, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It? Oh, it's a so that's front hand just kind of slapping on the water, the fingers hardly go under water at all and you can do that faster with one hand or you can have two hands to make it sound, so this is the type 2 hi-hat as I said. So there you are, that's the type 1 and type 2 and I showed you this, that's the type 1. That or that is the type 2, and there's three levels as I showed you for the type 1. Okay, we'll now move on to the snare, snare so yeah. the slaps. Now these, um, <laughs> for the, they go once again from three levels. Uh, quite a light one, which is basically the same as a type 2 hi-hat. The light snare is just a, a, a gentle slap, really. So it's, it's just like the type, uh, the type 2 hi-hat. Then you've got, I'm going to start to move back, then you've got <laughs> stand a, level, a level 2 snare or slap, which is like that. Try not to make the faces I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the hand, really, I'm stopping the hand until it goes, so it hardly goes underwater at all, actually. Um, and then you have a level 3, which uh, is, will we'll splash you, basically. Um, and that's where you really you push down as far as you can. So it's um, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Be a level seven, which doesn't exist, but basically just a lot louder. Um, and you can do all of those uh, three levels of slap snares um, using both hands as well. So you can do the very, the very quiet one. Um, and then you can do the level two with both hands. And then, if you really want to get yourself and the person next to you wet, you do the level three. I'll stand back. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also uh, could hurt the hands a little bit. <laughs> right. Uh, now we do some of the non-water ones. There's only another three or four things to teach you. The non-water ones, uh, there's a simple clap. And I think for clapping, I don't want it like that. I think, I mean, maybe that's an option, but the default clap is just like that. Then we have arm slapping, which we won't use very much because it hurts after a while, but it's basically that. Okay, and yeah, it will hurt after a bit, so we won't use too many. Um, 
also, Jenny did mention the idea of whoops and so forth and other noises. I think we may try and incorporate those uh, as they come up naturally. Um, the next thing, oh yes, the bass drums. So we've got two types of bass drums. Um, one of them is um, you hold your hand, so this is a type one and this is a bit more mellow. You hold your hand, I won't come too near, on the surface of the water, fingers together, hand very slightly cupped. It'll be quite hard because of the angle, but hand very slightly cut. And you're touching the water so that it doesn't slap and you just push down. You may need to hold it slightly above the water actually, that was because they're too close and it doesn't give a boom. So it's slightly above. Now that's bloody knackering. Um, you can do a two hand version. Um, so once again, fingers together, slightly cut, slightly above the water. <laughs> oh my God. I'll do that one more. One more. So that's like the louder version. Um, uh, so as you see, the difference between that and the snare slap is the snare slap you start up here, the bass drum you start, the type one bass drum you start very close to the water. And then the, the last thing is the type two bass drum, which. Um, this was Philip's, uh, uh, he introduced me to this, which is basically, um, you start like this, okay? So you're not gonna make a noise by hitting the water. You're going to make a noise actually by pulling the water up. So your little fingers roughly touching like this, and then you go. Philip can do it better than me, but you get the general idea. Um, Okay, now we're going to um, um, stop this. <laughs>